Hello, welcome to another Pandora video. And we got a little review of the short plank. Let's see what's in the box. We get a USB lead, VGA cable, power brick, balls, two balls, and two buttons, and a piece of crap manual. As you can guess, you can uh, swivel these balls onto the sticks, and you got little wiggle sticks. These buttons feel rather sandwich-ish. There's no noticeable click on the main buttons, but there are on the top two. Inside we have a Pandora Games 3D 1.3 Wi-Fi board, and we have Bao Long sticks. Don't know why, but it's been glued in here. We can uh, probably pull that off, shouldn't be a problem. If we want to change them, that is. And there's the GB3000 Wi-Fi board, which is the PG3D with the uh, 2448 on the micro SD there, which is also glued in. So there's a speaker in the box, so all you'd need to do is just stick it into a monitor, and you've got a working games arcade. Here's the menu. Yeah, yeah, we all know this. It's been around for like the last half a year or so. If you get one of these, make sure the coin settings on free play so you can pause it. You can change the screen image optimization to HD and scanline if you want. A few languages here. This unit's compatible with uh, PlayStation 3, Logitech, Xbox 360 controllers. Here's the legendary game store. Hook your unit up to the Wi-Fi, and then you can download a few games with poor titles. Or funny titles. Yeah, they're funny. Here's some gameplay footage. It's Tekken 6. And it's got the wiggly leg problem, so that's not been fixed. Buttons are all wrong. The yeah, joystick feels pretty good. So the buttons. From stock, you can actually just go to the main menu and you can change these controls if you want. So you have the right controls. It's no problem. Oh. Bit of wipe out. Wait, wipe, wipe out. <laughs> wipe out. Shield active. Soul Calibur. Yeah. Something, something. There's a bit of Dreamcast. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Some graphic glitches on the left. Sprites. N64. Smash Bros. Two player works. Three and four players don't. Runs pretty good though. GoldenEye. Analog stick is... Um, yeah, it's digi uh. PlayStation! Tekken 3. This runs rather good. You can't save on the PlayStation games, though. Bit of a bummer. Menos Log X. One, two plays, no problem. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3? Here's the usual problem game, Mortal Kombat. Runs pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Wins. I'm not very good at it though. There. It's another problem game. Usually. Bonanza Brothers. Runs great. Street Rage. Three? Two? I don't know. It's got a weird name. It's called Iron. Iron Fist. Earthworm Jim. Super Nintendo emulator. Unfortunately, the SNES games, the controls aren't configured very well. So if you have a game like Killer Instinct, it'll be a bit awkward to play. It's a PC Engine. Here's my game to check out screen tearing. Ah, there's the window, and it looks really good. on this game. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. All right, Bomberman World. This I usually check for players three and four and it's not configured very well at all. Even player two is not configured, but we can fix that out later. And here's another problem game. Outrun. Always the same. You can't go to high gear. Remember, we can use the Pandora tool to fix that. All right, is a quick check on the scan lines. Here's some HD optimization. Makes everything look a bit like a painting. Mission one. With this unit, we can also plug in a USB to USB cable from the Pandora thingy to the PC, and we can make it become a controller. And if we have it as a controller, we can use pretty much anything on our computer. So, got my Steam library hooked up. And how about a tip? Bit of Tekken 7? Oh, yeah, this feels good. This feels so good. Right, so I'm gonna just try some of the games I got from the games market. This is uh, Virtua Tennis. Glitchy, glitchy graphics. Ten oh. to serve. Come on, Tim. Yes. Come on. Uh, I, it's Power Stone. This runs really well. I'm very happy with this. Here's a bit of Giga Wing 2, I think. This plays pretty damn good, too. Alright, so I'm just gonna jailbreak the unit. I'm a bit sick of stretchy, stretchy mode. Where we check the games that we got from the market, none of them actually have any video previews at all. His Iron Fist of Anger. Now the jailbreak's been done, we have a nice aspect ratio! Blaze, we love you! Headless Leg Eggs! 
if the games we want are not on the games market, we can add them with Pandora Till, which is cool. It'll fix some of the problems we have with the three and four players. Yay. So here's my older unit. This is the older Bowlong. Kind of wiggles a bit. Like this. Seems a bit stiffer. And also longer. To be honest, both of them feel really good. If we don't like the sticks, we can just always switch them out with Sanwas. Click, click, click. Squish, squish, squish. So, do you want this short plank? Comes in two flavors. This one is the 3D Wi-Fi 2448 games version. Or there's the 3303. Go for the 3D Wi-Fi, guys. Mmm. Way better. If you like the video, give us a like. Give us a commenty commenty. Catch you on the flippity flip. Bye!